Atlanta. Here in the A, there are no limits to what we can do. With the city being on lockdown, the chasing of the bag ain't never stopped. A city filled with talents and dreams that takes us to new heights. In this town, perception is everything. You know what they say. With new faces comes new drama. From broken friendships. Okay. What you're doing is stepping okay. in some shit that has nothing to do it, with you. It does. If you text me, it has something to do with what? me. New adventures. No. Even the iconic scandals that you wouldn't even believe. Is this about Dominique's boyfriend? Hi, everybody. Oh, hey. Hey, sis. Hey. Some of us are elevating up. I'm here to make a difference with my music. I just need to know that you're all in. While others are making you wonder. I don't want nobody, you, to ever feel like I need any of y'all for no fucking storyline. From growing successful businesses to questionable businesses. You're her manager, so go manage her career. Why are you trying to be over here? Shade throw into unmentionable secrets. Wayne, why you feel like you need an apology for me? And why you post me on your Instagram? Wait, wait! From ZAP zapping all you hoes away in Florida to pepper spraying all you hoes in Atlanta to the love and heartache. I have not interrupted you yes. yet. Do you want to save your relationship? I was fine by myself. To the laughter and cries. They are killing us. I wake up every morning and go hard for myself because I know I have nobody else to depend on. I have not, I haven't been okay, please. These are the moments that are shared on a journey to success. This next generation is taking it all the way to the top. I'm gonna be the next big artist. As soon as I touch down in Atlanta, from Louisiana, I've been hustling. Mm -hmm. Different hustles but they are all chasing the same thing. Tag did it. Boom. Period. Mwah. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. And it's a new season. Boom. Y'all see the girls, y'all see them for yourself, honey. It's been a lot of tours and I, I've been owning up to my word. I said I was gonna do it for my fans. They got to see me live and in person. And when I tell you, mama did her thing. So what's going on? It's your boy BLAQ and I'm here with my friends, Kendra, baby. We're here at the Pink Polaris concert. So Kendra, tell the people a little bit about you. Well, y'all already know, Lil' Kendra, honey, uh, from the South, Tennessee to be exact, raised in Illinois. And I'm ready to turn up. I'm here with Rico with a K and we about to shut this performance down. What's going on, y'all? The King is back. A lot of people didn't see, want to see me back, but I'm here to stay. I'm just going to let you guys know this now. It's just been a lot going on. I've been networking on movie sets, and the grind just never stops. So I'm here today with Eli. You know, a lot of people don't know that I am Eli's PR manager. So a lot of the interviews and red carpet that's going on right now is because of your boy. We have Kendra and Rico opening for Eli today. So it's going to be real dope because they are some dope artists. So we're going to see what it's about today. Everybody, this is your boy Rico with the K, and I am back. For the past year, I have been chasing my dreams full throttle. And when I say that, I've been doing fashion shows, I've been performing everybody. People are flying me out to Houston, to Chicago. Like, you know, your boy is really doing it. Yeah, 
Dear Heavenly Father, here we are, your children, as humbly as we know how to say thank you. Tonight, I am performing for a good friend of mine. His name is Eli Liberty. He is a pop sensation. If you guys don't know who he is, y'all need to go figure it out right now. I put my whole blood, sweat, and tears to make this performance as special as it is, y'all. So, uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
out, check this out. I just want to say one thing before I get off this stage, man. Because it's on my heart. Dreams are real. Period. I done seen it manifest. I done seen it happen. Dreams are real. I had to elevate. I had to do what I had to do. I had to get away from people, but I did what I had to do to get here right motherfucking now so I can put on a show like this. So all I'm going to say to anybody that is in this room that has a dream, stand your ass up and go chase it. To anybody that has a dream, no matter what anybody is saying, go chase that shit. Y'all, this is the best performance I have ever put on in my whole entire life. I've always wanted dancers. I've always wanted this music that I'm making now. So this is a moment for me. I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, and yeah. Woo. Hey! hey Kill the performance. Yeah. What is going on? Y'all did a good job, both of y'all. Y'all did an amazing job. I'm proud of Thank you. you. I'm so oh. You know, and that message at the end, it touched me. It and that's did. what I go I almost by. cried. Believe it or not, we all need to hear that. Because I feel like you was looking at me and speaking to my heart. I was, too. When you said that. I was speaking to all of y'all. Oh. Yeah, I was speaking to me, too. It, 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 it went what? right through the implant. <laughs> <laughs> it went right through the titties. Oh, yeah, right to the heart. I just seen it. It went to the It's the new How you went in with my name in your mouth? Hold on. How you went in with my name in your mouth? You don't need to be there. That's a little bit. You think they're No, they're fine. Just like what it is. I feel like if you get too big, you're gonna be leaning a little bit like okay. that. Oh god. But I don't need that. Okay. 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 Well, I'm gonna keep it right here, baby. Honey, I'm running around, minding my business, and I done ran into Cameron. I'm glad to see him still doing his thing, honey, and keeping it moving. He made it to another season. This is like the, I right. love this outfit. Okay. Right. Yeah, you know the queen. is killing the game. Okay. Yeah. Trying to change it. Yeah, no, I do have a question for you. <laughs> oh, you have a question for me. Woo. Where's the best friends? Where's the the girls? The Dominiques, the Troys? Oh. Oh. Ooh. That's my man, and I'ma stay beside him. No, well, I am shot. I am shot. I, I am Dominique. Very shot. Shot. Nah, no, on some real shit, Dominique has been going through like a lot of personal shit. So oh, okay. I would understand why he couldn't make it. Right. I'm not I'm not one of those friends. If you can't make it to a show, bitch, I have we'll right. have hundreds of more. You feel right. what I'm saying? Right. Woo! Hold up, hold up, hold up. I just got off this stage. What's going on, with Kim? Is this something you wanna let me know? Y'all beefing? Y'all got drama? I only talk to Dominique anyway. So How was, is everything okay? I've been so busy. Like, yeah, yeah like, we're good. I'm great. I'm great. I've been working. Cool. cool, me and Dominique? Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're great. You want so Troy? What are you doing, Troy? Uh, Snake. You want Oliver? No. Huh? Oh my God. It's pink. <laughs> I mean, I'm with you. I'm with my. I'm stop. with my. I'm with my. I'm with my four. Oliver too. I'm missing one person out of my four. Who? Dominique. So let me just really take y'all back what really happened between me and Troy. We were in Chicago, we were having a good time. It was just certain moments where Troy was just acting just, I don't know what to call it. I wanna call it bitchy, whatever, but I just wasn't having it. It was just times where we were walking in the event, uh, Rico was performing, he wanted to tell me to move, he wanted to do this, he wanted to do that, and it's just like, girl, pause. I ain't that type of friend that you gonna keep talking to like that. I'm not your other girls. With me, I'ma set it straight. We not having that no more. Hey. Well, I'm glad to see y'all. Thank I you. I love to see you. I'm okay. so proud once again, y'all. Okay. Yeah. We love back, love honey. So where's the album coming out? You said what? Man, the album oh. Summer, spring, fall, uh, joggers. joggers. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I need that ASAP. <laughs> well, some water. I'm gonna bring y'all to the, the VIP back section. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Since you know, since I'm always on the back, you know, we're gonna go to the back. Yeah, or the Hennessy gone, baby. You don't need the Hennessy. Okay. Last time, you Oh, definitely don't need no Okay. <laughs> Amen. Stars, dear sky, dear people, dear everything, dear God. God is your 
inside me and everyone else that was or ever would be. I came into this world with God, and when I finally looked inside, I found Him. Y'all know I was in love last year. I thought I had found the love of my life. And love came to an end. <laughs> it came to an abrupt end. I lost my boyfriend. Me and Mama Twix fell out. One of my best friends of all time fell out. And I was just by myself. And I had to really dig deep inside of myself to refine who Oliver Twix was. It was a long journey. I made it very public on social media, but I was able to find my voice, literally, by going back to what I love the most, singing. star to be on TV in a recurring role. Yes, man, the T.S. Madison experience was on WeTV. My YouTube channel went viral with my top model interviews to the point that Tyra Banks herself called me, endorsement deals out the wazoo, new TV opportunities, new money, new, new dig. I'm just saying, my life is really good right now. I really can't complain. I'm not gonna let negative things get me down because I have to remind myself why God put me on this earth and that was to entertain, make people smile, and live out the purpose that he put on my life. I got a new attitude, okay? Atlanta. It's this event coming up that Troy and Dominique is throwing. I, I, it's that networking, but I don't, you know, when the girls. The girls say, in Atlanta always say it's a networking event. Don't nobody got no business card. Everybody but, got booking you know. in their bios, but ain't got nothing to book. They say how Cameron trying to wiggle his way into starting some type of drama. You've been scrambling for something, but guess what? I won't be there. When we when we ended the event, it tripped and it triggered me. When we ended, it triggered. I didn't know who I was. And right. the hurt was so strong and it was so bad. Nobody has an issue with you, man. I don't say nobody has an issue nobody with me. Nobody does not have nothing to do with you.
Hi, my name is De'Aaron Ziegler, your Georgia Realtor. Atlanta is a tough and competitive market, so do yourself a favor and get a trusted agent like myself. My offices are located in the heart of Midtown off Peachtree Street. Don't hesitate to give me a call. Also, I have a sweet referral if you're first someone and they purchase with me. Thanks, I can't wait to hear from you. What brings you in? I need some fabrics. Okay, that's These fine. fine, luxurious fabrics. That's fine. I hope you know what to do with them. Hey everybody, it's Jay Vaughn, but everybody calls me Jay Amor. I am a fashion designer right here in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been here for three years now, originally from Columbus, Ohio. I've been in the fashion industry for nine years now. I'm getting ready to do some new things, so I'm about to go get some fabric from Glamour World Fabrics, which is actually owned and operated by one of my mentors, Rico Chappelle. What's going on? I'm ready to transition and start the online store. It's getting tiring. How are you tiring and you young? I just, I'd rather click small, medium, large. Uh, what about extra large and extra, extra large? I've seen some of your clients. <laughs> Although I love couture and made for measurement clothing, which is what I've been specializing in for the past nine years, ready to wear is where the real money is at. A lot of people don't want to go through all these people of, I want, I got to come to you and get measurements and do this and this and fittings. A lot of people, we in a day and age, you rather just go online, small, medium, large, click add to your shopping cart and keep pushing. I have to talk to anybody. So you got to follow where the bag is. So that's what I'm about to do. Yeah. And so this is the newest, uh, the brocade with the organs. It's the hey, newest trend. what's going on? Hey. Come on, master. Look, come so, on. Nice sorry, to nice to meet, to meet you. you. I'm, I'm Rico. Nice Rico Chappelle. Welcome to Glamour World oh, Fab. Nice. Thank real nice. you. Thank Sorry you. For my so today I am meeting up with one of my old good girlfriends, Jay Amore. Me and him have done some business together. He has designed for me before. I just want to see what my good girl doing today. I mean, I have not seen her in a minute, so I know she got a lot of projects and upcoming events. So I'm just going to chat it up with her today. I'm going to let you guys do your thing, and I will be back here. Mending or something. Okay, well, nice meeting you. <laughs> nice meeting you as well. Let me know if y'all need any help. So while I was out shopping, I figured why not invite Cameron. He's a former client of mine, but he's also been saying that he wants to redo or start up his clothing line. So I'm him out to see how serious he really is. If you're serious about it, let's do it. If not, don't waste my time. Because my time is my money. But like I said, you don't be having no time for me. You be booked and busy. We've been sitting down, going over some. I got lines. time for you. Any time of payment, the deposit is. Well, paid. you ain't send me no invoice. You ain't say what you need. <laughs> Are you talking about your help? You help. Oh, yeah, help. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, trying to be shady, me. I ain't gonna call other girls piece. now. But I paid my price. You did. You okay. Did. You paid oh, for but any home, any home. It's been a long time. Yeah. You know, I've been doing my thing. You've been doing your thing. Obviously, you know, I'll be traveling a lot. You know, I'll be here. So we both be busy. I'm not just gonna blame you. Yeah, because you be out of town. Yeah. So I, you know, I gotta be staring. I can't. I can't come around a lot of people. I don't fuck with a lot of people no more like I used to. But since when you gone every other weekend with other people? <sighs> oh, I go with myself. Travel by myself, and I meet up with people. It's a difference. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anywho, <laughs> so it's this event coming up that Troy and Dominique is throwing. I, it's that networking, but I don't, you know, when the girls... The girls say, in Atlanta always say it's a networking event. Don't nobody got no business card. Everybody but, got booking you know, in their bios, but ain't got nothing to book. You know, I'm just trying to see because it's, it's something with when you're being around a bunch of... Gays. Homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> Shit go left, so it's like I don't even really feel like the intention is to network. I really feel like it's to come really? together, ask that word that is very sensitive of what do you do. You know, the girls get scared when people say that. But so what? Do, what does Troy? I know Dominique. Mm -hmm. He grooms. He grooms. Mm -hmm. He grooms down. I'll be seeing his pages. Yeah. He actually has receipts for his work. Yeah. But what does Troy do? Because when I met him, he was a assistant oh. stylist when I first moved here. You said assistant stylist. Then I heard he had a talk show. Or I don't know. The girls always change their story. Like, I'm sorry, their careers. Um, yeah. So what um, did you do? 
I oh, honestly established. don't. I, no, I'm, I mean, the last thing he left off on was doing interviews, podcasting, but I have not seen anything since last year. So I'm pretty sure he's focused on his career at, um, I think he was at Bloomingdale, and then he was at an eyewear company, and then now he's. Bitch, I don't know. Um, but anywho, he so, saw so the girl say, "I'm a yeah, visual merchandiser." Yeah, yeah. So he's doing, but he's in that's management. New, that's new he's in management, year. so he's doing his thing. He's a young manager. All oh, right. Child, I'm confused. At this point, I thought Cameron and Troy was good Judys. They seen they each other's brothers. I asked a simple question because I didn't know, and now next thing I know, I'm in the middle of a shade fest. So I don't know what the hell the situation is between them two. All I came to do was talk about fabrics. But if you want to talk about careers transitioning and you be my guest but i'm confused at this point but anywho we're gonna go we're gonna network you're gonna know bring your fashions we're gonna come in have a good time um I, they, they said it was a tequila and something but i don't know if it's anything's gonna be provided they didn't tell us if we need to bring anything so I need to have something about that please bring something because i'm pretty sure it's not nothing gonna be there so but what type of business decision you invite me to? Because you done said it's networking. These people don't got no they ain't got no jobs, I no see, careers. Let, let, let me see if I can read it. It says a networking event. Now, from what I heard, because I didn't get a personal invite, but I heard other girls got personal invites, and I thought me and Troy and Dominique was cool. But, you know, I got a word from mouth for Rico. Rico invited me to someone else's event. So, you How know, you invite me to an event you ain't even get invited to? So you invite me to an event networking event? that you ain't get invited to by someone that you say that is your friend and you see where y'all's relationship hit it, but you've been shading him for the past 20 minutes and we ain't even talked about your clothing line. I see where this conversation is headed. It's a new me, baby, so it's, it's out with it. I got my girls, cause we been rocking for a minute and then I'm also bringing one of my homeboys with me, Ike. I don't know if you heard of him or not. All right. Yeah, he's a yes. you know, singer, yeah. So he's gonna be coming with me okay. and we just gonna vibe it out. We gonna okay. see. Okay. You gotta trust me. We just gonna have a drink before. I'm gonna have about three. Okay. You know a shot of three. Dummy. And then when is it? Cause I have, you know, I'm very it's, booked. I'm very booked. Child, they busy. said next week. So I'm not saying cancel your plans or anything because you do still have to make your money. But I need you to be there. Yeah, I need to be there with some friends. Yeah, with my friends. So you yeah, need a network and network. You see the girl with no business cards. <laughs> Okay. Wait, no business card. Rico, can I get six shards of this, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go. Okay. Um, you better not stand me up. I'll see if I can make it. Right. I'm booked and busy. Push my button, my button again. Met a guy from. Oh. He was. Straight to oh. Japan. Uh -huh. You know what I need, and there ain't nobody finer. A shoe stop, skirt, bling, purse, or designer. What's up, world? It's Dominique, and I'm back. I'm living life. My relationship is doing amazing. The business is doing even better. And now we're stepping into the fashion world. So today we're going to pull up to my guys Braylon's virtual fashion walk, and you're going to see me hit the runway a little one, two. ATM, ATM, ATM. Am I bitch a fashion stylist? Fashion model, bitch. Push my button, my button again. What's up, y'all? Now, I know y'all was expecting to see me this go round, but trust, what y'all used to is not what y'all getting this time. I've been out and about doing my thing. I've come into just this whole new person. And trust and believe, y'all will get y'all life. And I always remember, I'm the one and the motherfucking two. Boom. Troy and Dominique in a very long time. I've been out of state. You know, Dominique is booked and busy. Troy is booked and busy. I told him that I wouldn't be able to make it to his fashion show because I had to work, but I lied. I wanted to surprise him. So I'm about to skirt, skirt, and see how my homie is doing. Oh, I haven't really heard from Rico in a minute. It's been a lot going on. He's been working on his album. And I just know that he got a lot of things tying him up nowadays. But, oh my God, this guy actually showed up when he told me he had to work. Shout out to you, Rico, because I wasn't expecting that. Thank y'all so much for coming, because, bitch, I didn't expect nobody to show up. Oh, oh. 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 This nigga don't never give me no flowers, so who talked him into this? So, since last year, a lot has been going on with me and my fiance. 
He's been busy building his personal training business and again, everybody's crazy busy. This got him pulled up with some flowers and he never gets me flowers. So you get a point for that. I'll catch you in the bedroom. All right guys, what's the tea? What's been going on in these streets? Girl, what's the tea, <laughs> I don't know, she. <laughs> I should be asking you because, girl, since the last time we've seen each other, I heard it's a lot been going on. I mean, you already know, Rico. I, the girls, the girls. What's the tea? What's the tea? Well, first of all, we even get to that. Mm -hmm. Rico, we been. Bitch, I've been working. I've been, I've been um, performing my ass everywhere. I've been rehearsing. I've been recording. I'm glad, even through the pandemic, you still making this happen. Period. No shade. Because, baby, that performance you gave. Uh, no shit. Look, look, check this out. I was doing everything with no budget. Now nigga got a budget. As you should. Yeah. So, I mean, what, how do you feel? I don't know. I feel okay. I mean, it's been buzz in the street that hoes don't like me, don't see it for me. So I'm still trying to figure that the fuck out. Who don't like you? Oh. We'll get into it. But like I said, I just want us to be on the right page because I know I miss your show. And and I did hear that you. I was at work. No, I literally was at work. You was and feeling some type of way toward the kids. So let me know. Who said that? Just let me know. You know, I miss your show and I told let you me, I was Let me say it. this, let me say this. Cause it did come up, you know, it was like where Dominique is and stuff like that. Um say what? So it was like, you know, where no, Dominique is. No, said it, because I wanna know. You know our our mutual friend Cam. Y'all remember Cam? But, but what was the exact words because it was where's where you know, where's the best friends? Where's the Troys, the Dominiques, you know? And but no, check this out. Even mm -hmm. even in that moment, as soon as he said that, oh, I ain't worried about it. He'll be at the next show. But Dominique, you came to every More single- More shows than that bitch to been to. So no, no, just stop, 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 stop. Now, Rico, I'm not sure if I'm hearing this correctly, but you're saying that Cameron is keeping my name in his mouth negatively? Last time I checked, we were all brothers in a group chat. So what's really the tea? Because I know the Chicago trip was a little rocky, but girl, it wasn't all that to bring it back to Atlanta. Maybe when we went to Chicago, Cameron was feeling some type of way. Now, this was the first time everybody traveled together. They got to see me and Troy really kick it. And girl, I'm not sure if that's what you're jealous about, but this is your city. You're supposed to be showing us around. Like, what's the pressure? I want to focus on us meeting what we got, but I know it wasn't already broken. We good. Our renewal's going to be good. But I just hate how Cameron trying to wiggle his way into starting some type of drama when it's unneeded. Okay, now, what drama? Okay, fill now, me in. The word on the curve. Word and I mean, curve. on the deep okay. curve. Like, with a sewer thing in. Okay. Down there, be. Okay. Is First off, he, I want to make it very clear. This ain't none of my damn business. It's not, but how it's, it's, I just, it's, I'm it's, gonna it's, it's, it's some I of just, because he did this shit around just everybody. It's okay, like go, ahead, go ahead. He's out here saying that he has an issue with me because of uh, one, how I treated Dominique in Chicago. He said I treated Dominique Which is, in Chicago. I told him he's a dirty but I'm just like, why does that make it your issue? Your issue. Mm -hmm. And then also, another thing is you sent me money on my birthday. So my thing is if you feel some type of way about anybody, you shouldn't have sent me money on my birthday. And on top of that, you act like, from my understanding, you wanted more recognition. What you, what, what do you want? If it was genuine, when I text you and text you back and said, thank you so much, I appreciate you, I love you, that should have been enough. What you want me to give you a shout out on Instagram? Oh, camera, that's, give me money that's on my birthday. It's over so. Like, I don't know. We, I don't we, know where it's still. We're trying to wait. That's too. That's stop. <laughs> but listen, the root of the Woo! issue clearly is him. Fin he's been feeling the way since we've been in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, why we've talked and seen each other since then. We've parted together since then. Why haven't you said? Why have you not said anything? And let me tell you something. In the words of the motherfucking queen, you might get a motherfucking uh, storyline or a story from any other bitch on this bitch, but not me. So no. you might as well let me tell you. You've been scrambling, scrambling. And since we want to go there, we're gonna go there. You've been scrambling for something. But guess what? I'm gonna be that. So of course, y'all already know it. I know y'all gonna be like, here they go with some more drama. It's not even drama. It's Cameron trying to find a moment because he wants me to be a bad friend. He feels like something that I said to me, I shouldn't have said. Guess what? I'm a brat. I'm the only child. Sometimes some things may come off wrong, but guess what? I don't mean no harm. My friend knew that and my friend talked to me about it. He just wants a moment and he just looking for something. Baby, guess what? You can't get that from me because I'm not giving it to you. Sorry. I mean, I just feel like we were all friends. We all literally got dressed together. We've all been bro so-called brothers and you know, you brought me into this whole situation. So I just feel like if you had an issue, you'll reach out to me. And no shade, I love Troy down, but don't make me guilty by association. Like, if you got a problem with Troy, talk to Troy. Like, me and Troy do kick it more than most. But at the same time, when I text Troy, Troy responds to me. It's bitches on, in this circle that don't even respond and leave me on scene. So I'm not looking to be no bitch friend. I don't need, to, I don't need friends. 
I'm a bad bitch by myself, or I can be a bad bitch with 10 other bitches beside me. Period. But some of these hoes like crabs in a bucket. And you've been around the longest, so your best bet is to find a bitch, another bitch. Find somebody else, because it ain't gonna be me. Your spoon ain't big enough to serve my pie. First of all, y'all, I'm gagging because Meek is literally reading down. Cameron has been doing this for five years. He's been in this group for five years. You're supposed to be a designer, wear your clothes. Baby, they can say what they want to say about me, what I do, where I be at, who I'm with. But guess what? It's always an elevation. Baby, you're still in the same spot doing the same thing and I haven't seen any grow. So at this point, we just know Cameron is looking for a moment and he's looking for a reason to stay relevant. And that's just what it is. So, relay this message if she want to talk. No, 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 Hell no. Fuck no. Well, girl, no. I will see her eventually. How the hell were we all just cool a couple of months ago? That's what we're, the, no, that's genuinely like, and we're now, we're, like, like we're, now we're, it's, I'll just decide, like, I'll ego inside and live for real, like, that's really what I'm So now about. we're gonna figure, well, y'all were gonna figure it out. We're about to figure it out, going okay. from here. I uh, appreciate y'all for coming, but bitch, my man waiting on me, and we gotta get to some things tonight. Let's Do go. it like it's your B-Day. Hey, baby. Yeah, <laughs> so, so they got me fucked up, and we gonna find out. Where the fuck you get these homes from? This is too much. I just Come here. Coming up on Chasing Atlanta. I didn't want to live anymore. It is like, I don't want people to think that it was all him because it was Good. everything. Hi, Hi. You might be familiar with me. You might have seen me on another show that we've all watched. Let's say it together. How about you act like you're we have met several times. For real? Everybody wants me to know them clearly. I clearly I guess I'm that girl. Oh! to listen to Girl Damn Podcast, where I examine my life and the world around me through a black, dark-skinned, fat, queer, trans feminist lens. Episodes are available now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and you can also go to the Girl Damn Podcast Patreon page and become a member where you'll get access to exclusive episodes and interviews that are behind the paywall. So join me on this journey right now. Bye! Never stop, never settle. I got honey all in my cup. I'm on top, I'm on a level, yeah. I'm trying to get to the back. Got it on lock, got it on smash, yeah. She trying to holler what's up. I'm with this shit, that's how it is, yeah. When you on your way up. Today I'm meeting up with Wayne Dupain, honey. We going shopping. I got a show going on. Let's go. It's a lot of things. I'm excited to see him because, you know, lately I haven't been myself. And it's been a lot of little personal problems. But we're going to get to the bottom of it today after I find my outfit. Man, it's a beautiful day out here in the Atlanta Station. Of course, me and Kendra finally linking back up. It's been a kind of distance between us. So I'm definitely glad that, you know what I'm saying, we take the sign, just me and her, to chop it up and see what's been going on with us. So, what's up with you? What's been going on? Oh, you know, life got its way of doing things, but, right. um, you know, it's a lot of things that I've been wanting to talk to you about, and I'm glad that we're here so we can finally talk about them. Right. First is the uh, trans... Trans lifting organization. Trans lifting organization, I'm sorry, because I've been going over this for the last few weeks now, and it right. kind of done tackled my brain, but right. I'm really focusing on that and trying to see if there's a way we can get grants and things to help the transgender women that in need and that. Definitely. I'm here with Wayne, and I'm excited to talk to him about this trans uplifting organization that we working on. Trans women, we, we just have to come together and stick together. Recently, it's been a lot of trans murders, and it's still going on, you know? This program is, is gonna help those that not only need funds, but get them out of the escort life and, and things like that. Give people a chance, you know? I was one of the lucky ones. I made it out. And I wanna help them get out too. Well, Harvey, I mean, I haven't, I mean, it's been like a distance. Like, I talk to you one day and the next day, you don't answer. Like, what's been going on? Um. <laughs> well, I would say, you know, recently a lot has happened. And right. I could just go back some. Um, 
you know, my grandma, she had two strokes. And right. I had to go to Illinois and I was handling that. And then I mean, but coming back from that. So, so that was on you all the way? I Taurus mean. passed. My friend got murdered. And right. two days before that, we had to go to Miami. And I felt like I didn't heal all the way from that. Right. And then we get to Miami and for the performance, everything goes well. And man, you got into one of the biggest arguments ever and we never get into it so then coming back from miami my relationship ended you know and when we ended it triggered something in me and it's like a dark person came it was a person that i've never seen before you know it, and it got to a point to where i was finding myself I didn't know who I was and right. the hurt was so strong and it was so bad to a point to where I just I found myself wondering and knowing and thinking Oh come on friend don't start crying come on that come on. I didn't want to be here anymore and it's like I mean you don't feel like you could have came all my and, bricks fell down you, gonna, you don't feel like you could have came and talked to me so this distant thing between me and Kendra you know what I'm saying it's been heavy on my heart I've been calling her, she haven't been answering my phone calls. I've been texting, no replies. So I'm just wondering what's going on. I've been seeing she been looking funny. She really haven't been posting on Instagram. And it's like, I go by the house and I don't even get an answer, but a car does. So, you know what I'm saying? I definitely want to know what's going on. For me right now, it's, it's, it's dark. <laughs> and I'm looking for the light. Right. Well, I'm here for you, friend. I got you. It's like, I don't want so you to... It's just a lot of hurt. And the, right. the, the thought of me ever wanting to do anything to myself, I've never been at a point to where I was so overwhelmed to where... That's right, friend. I didn't want to live anymore. And it's like, I don't want people to think that it was all him because it was Good. everything. It's just, I felt like I was losing everybody. If I hadn't, I was going to. Everything was just spiraling out of control. And I'm only one person. Here lately, I have been distanced. I have pushed in and everybody out my life, including Wayne. You know, we kind of had a disagreement in Florida. And we weren't seeing eye to eye. And that led to a lot of things. My grandma, she had two strokes, actually. My mom, she had heart surgery. Uh, one of my close, close friends, Taurus, he, he was murdered. And it did a lot to me mentally. Like, it got to a point where I, I just didn't know if I was going or coming. And I didn't know who Kendra was anymore. The last thing was my relationship. And that was the only thing that I had keeping me together. All my bricks fell down. And I'm in the process of picking them back up. Another thing, weapons may form, but they won't prosper. I don't want you to lose focus right now because of relationship. You got too much going on, friend. It's, it's like I don't think it it's too much where the work is about overwhelming. The relationship. It was all about everything else that came before the relationship was the last thing that ended for me. And it was so much to where I just couldn't control anything after that. Please. I just want you to stay focused though, because right now you at a point where you got we got a lot of big people reaching out and you got a lot of stuff you still got to do here on this local level. So I definitely want you to make sure that you don't let nobody throw you off from, you know, yeah. from your dream, your music, everything. Like, I love Wayne. And, uh, you know, our disagreement and stuff, sometimes it just happens to make you stronger. That's all. I know a lot has fell down, a lot has changed, but, you know, Anything is possible through God. So we gonna pack it up and we gonna keep it moving. I know we definitely got this performance coming up. So I know you gotta be, you know what I'm saying, around a crowd of people that, you know what I'm saying, maybe you're not ready to be in that environment. But I definitely want to set something up so we can get this trans lifting off the ground. Cause I feel like right now you Let's need that, that sisterhood. I yeah, need you need somebody that's going through it with you. I got you, friend. I know Come you. Come on, you got these new looks. I love <laughs> everything about it. I love you. I got you, but don't fucking. Oh, why you gotta lock me out? I'm here. 
You know, I don't care what you go through. I'm gonna make sure I ride for you. I'm ready now, to stop crying, hell no. I want you to stop crying, too. And now I need a drink. Let's go back this way. Tonight, I'm over here just working, drinking a little wine, and I just decided to invite one of my good, good, good friends over. I have not seen him in a while. He's been a friend for years. We've been like kicking it. That's like a brother of mine. So we just really just gonna sit down, kind of cut up and kind of kick you for a little bit. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ike. How y'all doing? Look, let's just let's let's do it. Before we even start, let's get it out the way. You might be familiar. We might have seen me on another show that we've all watched. Come on, and we love. We've seen. Let's say it together. Wheel of Fortune. Uh huh. Yep, yeah, that was me. Wait. What show did y'all think I was talking about? But yeah, like I said, anyway, Wheel of Fortune was pretty much the start of my ATL grind. That kind of unlocked the spirit of hustle within me. And from that point, I became the owner of a sock collection, started my music career as a recording artist, songwriter, engineer, voiceover actor, creative collaborator, social influencer. Look, the list goes on. Okay, so let's talk Cam. You know him as Cameron Layton's Boutique, right? I know the bitch as Cameronicia Laytonequa Sweat. I'm going to meet up with him today. He's been telling me about some fake bitches or fake friends and the group that he's been, hang been hanging out with. So I bought over a bottle of wine because I feel like we gonna need a drink tonight. I've been so long. Shits. I know. You What's in Georgia enough? The bitch in California one day in Texas in Florida, Illinois. Are you a pilot? No, I just, you know, very busy trying to, you know, network, get my promoter game up in different cities, yes. different states. Cause you know the girls say I don't do shit. Oh, no, but you know, that? I got, you know, getting several businesses going on, you know. Yes, I don't fake the funk, but you know, all that. Yeah. So, of course, you know, I'm around this circle. Of, of individuals. That's right. Um, some cool, some not so, you know, that I don't mix well with. Okay. But um, I think they're supposed to have a mixer from what Rico called and told me um, okay. that Dominique and Troy is hosting. I don't know why I didn't get a personal what? invite, but I got a third party invite. Oh, yeah, that's so. tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I know about it. I'm going. How Troy, do you know about it? Troy reached out to me. Oh, yeah. so you we, got a personal invite. Yeah, yeah. We now, don't. Now, how do y'all know each other? We don't know. I've never met him, okay. but we've been like following each other on social media for a while. Oh, okay. It seems really, really cool. Okay. But you say you don't, you don't, you didn't get a personal I didn't get a personal invite. I guess it's a situation, an issue. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't talked to him. The last time I seen Troy was up in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a situation. Um, basically, what happened was Rico had a performance. So we were just, you know, up there vibing. You know, that's my town, that's my city. So I see right. my people, I'm a socialize. Right, yeah, yeah, this is my shit. Right. So I guess Dominique was trying to take a picture of Troy. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pour the Henny, you know, I'm a big Henny drinker. So I guess I was in the way. Okay. And then Dominique was being played for and said, oh, you know, watch out sis, you know, you in the way, I'm trying to take a picture of Troy. But Troy got snapped with, you? with me. So okay. I was like, well, girl, I don't care less about what he was trying to do, but just a nicer way to say it. Oh no. After that, uh -huh. We went to Rico's performance. He's talking to the people. I'm talking to the people. Rico said he wanted to go outside. I said, okay, come on, let's go. I guess I was in front of Troy. Troy gave me a little nudge and Not said, nudge. keep going, Cameron. I'm like, I'm waiting on Rico, uh -huh. you know, because that's the person I'm going outside with. Right. And then he like, oh, he can catch you outside. I said, you know what, Troy? I don't know what's been going on, but sis, you gotta stop talking to me like that. So we start to talk Troy, and I've never met Troy in person. We're kind of like social media buddies. He's a cancer, I'm a cancer. We always exchange pleasantries on Twitter. So I'm kind of shocked hearing Cameron say that he might be a bully. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on, but something with Dominique and Troy, and they kind of, listen, I stand behind Cameron and how he's feeling. His feelings are valid if that was his experience, so. um. I'm shocked. What is friends these days? Are you, so are y'all beefed out or is it something he doesn't even know? You it's not beef. It's not. 
it's not beat out, mm-hmm. but I do want to have a conversation because for me, I don't treat my friends like that. You've done it to Dominique. You've done it to me. Ain't no telling who else you've done it to. You know what I'm saying? So obviously nobody have not said anything to you. And when me and Dominique was talking in the car, he texted me and was like, we all in the same car, mind you. Mm-hmm. He was like, did I do something wrong? I said, friend, you need to speak up and say something. Like this bitch, because if y'all supposed to be freaking frat, yeah. why is frat talking to frick like that? I don't know, but we'll see. So I hope all the girls have their business cards. This is a networking event. I hope no one's not just there to be asking those type of questions. What do you do? I'm going to show you what I do because I have a business card. So, Wait, are you yeah. all, bitch, you've been drinking before I got here? No, no. I think because I've been so nice, friend, yeah. over the years, yeah. and people have really took me for granted oh. that I'm not with the shit no more. You know, these girls have clearly ruffled my girl's feathers. Um, I'm not surprised to hear him talk like this. You know, I, I've seen people take advantage of him before and him kind of let it smooth on over. But what you're witnessing right now is not Cameron. This is CJ. He might have to bring CJ out on their ass. And I don't blame him if he felt like he's been wronged and there's some fake shit going on. Stay on your ground, sis. But anywho, over yes. that, what yes. have you been doing? Because I know you say you're going to the Florida uh, thing. But yes. yeah. So I have been performing, you know, mm-hmm. um, back at that. But I, I really took a while to just recharge. Okay. You know me, bitch. As soon as I touched down in Atlanta from Louisiana, I've been hustling. Mm-hmm. I kind of just needed a moment for myself to step back. And I was like, I, you ain't really smelling the roses. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just been recharging. I had been in hustle mode, doing this, doing that, singing here, singing there, performing. And it kind of, when you're Atlanta in Atlanta, you kind of get wrapped up in the grind and in the hustle. And you never really take any self time. So I had to kind of go off the grid. Thank God I had a hit song that kept accomplishing stuff so I could really afford to take the break. And I kind of got back to my quiet center, my privates tranquil self and um this year i plan on hitting the ground running again i'm back on the scene i got more music up my sleeve Uh, i got more socks to deal so i'm coming out of hiding and i'm excited about what's to come well let's go you want to go out we can go get something to eat okay come on all right i'm really hungry i really want to go Up on Chasing Atlanta. Oh my god, what's the tea? What's up, y'all? It's your favorite cousin on your baby side, Drew Friday. Now that all the girls are gathered in the room, I'm gonna get on the mic. I just wanna thank everybody for coming out because I do know everybody's busy, everybody here is some sort of entrepreneur. You know, we got things going on. You gonna talk about your homegirl like that? Like she is sitting right next to you. Like that is your friend, girl. tell my story. How did I end up like this today? I was caught taking more than I was supposed to. But hey, it is what it is. I grew up with six sisters and no brothers. My mom and dad are serving time in the state mental hospital. One bad drug changed their life. My uncle raised us until he was brutally murdered. So my older sister and myself took care of our younger siblings. I am one of the oldest, you know. It's seven of us. And let's just say, we ain't no saints. Even my 17-year-old sister is trouble. The streets like to call us the seven deadly sinners. So me and Nick have been talking about doing a networking party. I just felt like it's a time because we never really get a chance to do everything as a group or really get a chance to grow with each other. So I just want us to be able to 
invite people out, let us network, meet some new people, and see what we can grow because at this end of the day, we need each other to grow our business. Fatty with the fatty top notch chick. All the homies got a top but they wish list. Yes, honey, we are here at the networking event. We invited out the who's who. Now, pause, let me stop you. I invited out the who's who, and I left it up to Rico and Troy to figure out who they wanted to invite because this is a collaborative event. Now, I don't know who's gonna pop up, but I will hope everybody pull up, showcase their business, and it's a new year. Let's get out here and flourish, honey, because a lot of these girls been worried about the wrong thing, and today, we're gonna put them hoes on notice. Wanna drive the boat, Kenny in the coat. If you can't handle your liquor, just take no. I'm overly excited because me and the boys put together a networking event. We all three have different groups of friends. I have music friends. Troy has, you know, every type of friend there is. Dominique has his, you know, dog grooming friends. And, you know, it's just a great opportunity to bring everybody together, network. So I'm really excited. However, this is the first time that the whole group is going to be together. And from what Cameron was saying and from what Dominique and Troy was saying, this is gonna be some shit. I got my big boy pants on and I'm ready. Let's do it. It's the cash for me. It's the swag for me. So shout out to Time Come Out. I finally came to this networking event, but I found somebody who was invited. I'm coming with Rico Castanon right now because child, I don't know where uh, Cameron is, but I don't got time to wait for somebody who wasn't invited. I ain't trying to be part of no drama tonight. We'll see how much of a, a, a Jack network, a networking session this really is. I'm here for it. What's up? I have not seen you for hours. About damn time. Wow, how are you doing? What's up, everybody? It's Rico. I'm here. They got me. I'm the Prince of the South is in the building. And tonight, I'm going to this networking event. I'm meeting some new people, trying to get my name out there. You know, push my push my boundaries when it comes to my career. Rico invited me. Me and Jay pulling up. Jay looks nice. So, let's see what this night's gonna be. So, do you guys, do y'all know Troy? I know Troy. Hi, Rico. No, I know Troy. I don't think he was talking to me. Hi, Rico. Now, these two people, if you don't know who they are, you need to know who they are, okay? Mr. Jay Moore is a fashion designer. I met him while I did a fashion show in Chicago. Jay's line is really incredible. I did walk in his line, just saying. And Mr. Rico Castanon, we have... <laughs> Listen, we have been through some things together when it comes to this music industry. We have traveled together, performed together, been on tracks together, recorded together. The world needs to see him. The world needs to see Mr. J.M.R. Moore as well, okay? Because these are the people going out. Oh, how you doing though? You good? Oh, you are so damn tall. You know, I'm five foot two and a half. You know, <laughs> you know, every now and then. Everything all right? Everything good? Yeah. Um, you enjoying the people? It's a nice event. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I tried to get your friend to pass. Which friend? Troy be trying. So I'm gonna keep it real. This is my issue with Troy. I met Troy a few months back at Cameron's house. I came to dress Cameron for an event. Me and Troy had a full fledged, long ass conversation. Two days later, I see Troy. This motherfucker looked me up and down like I'm short. Now, y'all might not be able to tell on camera, but I am six foot seven. Made a face and continued to walk on past. I don't do the shade, I ain't one for it. I ain't one for it. So I ain't got, I ain't feeling Troy at this point. So, yep, my whole situation was. What's happening, everyone? We done talked to you on that. What y'all doing out here? What y'all talking about? Somebody back on your We have met several times. For real? Listen, Jay, I'm telling Child, you. Child, I'm six or seven. I am not that hard to remember. My memory is bad. I really don't be Your memory bad when you introduced me to your photographer. He said he's a designer, stylist. He does all this stuff in the fashion industry. Listen, because you, they, that's what they, I was told. Now, Jay is someone that I've seen in passing, but I didn't really remember him because he was doing something for Cameron. He kept saying I knew him, didn't really know him. Whatever. If you want to know me, that's cool. Everybody wants me to know them clearly. I clearly, I guess I'm that girl. You do have got me up and down like I was short, bitch. You don't know who you said. Be. You don't know who people oh, be in that marriage. I'm shit. telling you. But Jay, I'm glad you came out. Listen, I'm sorry. Okay. Now. We it's not new for I ain't gonna hold it It's a new year. Okay. I'm in a new light. Okay. I'm glad you came out. Now don't don't forget me again. I ain't gonna forget okay. you again. Okay. Jay. Sure. Tall Jay. I got you. 
Nine. Jay kind of seems to have some kind of little animosity against me, I guess, because he wants me to know him so bad. But you know, we'll see how that works out as the event goes on. Okay, well, when y'all get done, call me when I walk back to the door. Period. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Bitch, I'm six, seven. You know you damn well remember me. Anyway. <laughs> Tech talk. <laughs> Tonight is the night of the networking mixer. Um, kind of excited since I'm back on my feet with doing music. Hopefully there are other artists there. I got Cameron and Dooney with me. Um, I don't know what his face Cameron is in. You know, he might have to address a few things tonight. But I hope it's gonna be a good time. I heard about tequila, there's some food there. I'm interested in meeting the new people in this crew, so we'll see how it goes. Hey. So I enter the room, I mean, I don't know what's going on. I, I mean, it's hardly anybody here. I see my good girlfriend, Jay Amore. I see Rico. I mean, I see the host. I see two, three other people. I mean, I mean I, I, I'm thinking this is gonna be a well-planned event. You know, people gonna be here networking, talking about their businesses, but it's just literally an empty room, like, I could have stayed home for this shit. Now, didn't Rico just tell me that Cameron was talking all this shit about us? I wasn't really expecting him to pull up to our networking event. Now, I'm not sure it's because you don't have friends in this circle and you went out and gathered some other ones and you want to kind of bring them around. That's cute too, I'll get to know them and they gonna love me. We are gonna talk about Chicago because we should have left it in Chicago. I don't want to call her a cloud chaser because she really can't chase no cloud. But it comes walking with Cameron and that girl didn't speak to me. She really walked past me as if she didn't see me, but girl, I don't see you either. <laughs> okay, so I get in this event and I'm seeing a lot of tension. There's this guy that looks like Madonna named Dominique and I'm just sitting here like, okay, this is interesting. So in walks Cameron and Ike and I'm like, Girl, is there an issue? Cause I'm like, I'm seeing folk feeling some type of way left and right. I'm just, girl, I'm just here for the appetizers and the drinks, honey. I'm just here to see what they got going on. my stress is go out to see a good drag show in Midtown. Now over the summer, I've been running into this girl named Drew Friday frequently. I don't know what's that about, but that made me send her an invitation to this networking event because I want her to come in, show the girls what she gives, and maybe she'll get booked for an event. Pull up Drew, what you got? Running up, I see on the side the Three Stooges. I don't know these niggas, but one of these niggas look fine as fuck. I see my drag mother's best friend, Rico Castadine, and then I see a designer that I know just from social media, Jay Amore. I think he does amazing designs. Now the last three stooges, Aikisha, Big Daddy Ike. That man has started talking. Ooh, he had a Louisiana accent, and they 
B. My vagina's got wet. Hey, Ike. How you doing? What's your name? Can I get your number? <laughs> Can we go out for beignets? I like a little um, gumbo from time to time, too, you know. Hi, everyone! Hi! They liquor, they feeling saucy. I'm gonna get on the mic because I feel like they kind of dropped the ball with the invitation list because there's a lot of girls in this room that's not doing too much. I'm not gonna say who, but girl, make an exit because this ain't the room for you. Let me tell you, baby, this is a room full of stars. You're a monk star, you're not a star. And I think I need to put the girls on notice because they got this shit confused. I just want to thank everybody for coming out because I do know everybody's busy, everybody here is somewhat of an entrepreneur. You know, we got things going on. Okay, so I'm trying to get what's going on here. You're giving a speech, throwing shots at people. Who are you? I'm, I see it's already getting started. See, I can already see this about to be an interesting night. These people don't know nobody. They throwing shots at folk. Lord Jesus, what I done walked into. This. So the, the comment that Dominique made, like, that was just so disrespectful. Like, how are you gonna talk about your homegirl like that? Like, she is sitting right next to you. Like, that is your frat girl. You supposed to be helping her out. I mean, if you want her to grow, cause I don't know who else he's talking about. So, Troy, check your homegirl. Rico, you got something to say, bitch? Let's say top talk. Well, talk, 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 talk. Hey, talk, everybody, talk. everybody, 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 I feel like it's a, a great time to pull him to the side, kind of have a conversation with him because in my mind, I feel like I have not done that, nothing wrong to this man. I feel like, you know, I've always showed him nothing but respect and I'm just gonna pull him to the side and see what's going on. Yeah. Okay, now I'm a Gemini and I love cameras. Well, the last time I seen Cameron, I love Cameron. It's been a lot going on since then. He came up to me and he wanna talk. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I'm gonna go outside and talk to him. Hopefully this don't go left, because the last thing I want is for me and a friend to get into it in the new year. But girl, judging by her, I'm on the Kill Bill mission. You run your mouth, come see me. Are you pulled me from the party? Yes, I did. What's the tea? We didn't talk. We have not talked. About? We have not talked. I want to know what the issue is, friend. The last time I talked to you, Cameron, I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. My puppy had babies. Okay. Your friend bought a puppy. Uh huh. And we kept in contact about her grooming uh -huh. and all this. But I'm going to be real with you. Uh -huh. I've been hearing from a lot of people. Okay. That you've been bringing up my name, okay. Troy name. Okay. And I just don't know why. Because I thought we was cool enough for you to at least call me. Okay. But you ain't called me. Okay. So that's why we need to come out here and have this conversation. Exactly. So as a friend, if you're hearing he say, she say shit, and we have 
years of friendship, you should have called me and asked me. That's what a real friend. No, 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 I let you talk. That's what a real friend would do. If I'm supporting you, you support me, right. and we've been cool all this time, why do I have anything negative to say about you? I don't know, because I feel like I didn't even expect you to show up tonight. I'm gonna be honest why with you. Why not? I'm gonna be real because okay. word on the street was that you wasn't gonna show up. Let's just be keep like okay. let's just keep it 100. Can I tell you why? Tell me why. Can I tell you why? Tell me because why. Because my friend. Who was your friend? You. Okay. Then give me a personal invite. Like hold on. I did. No, you sent it the, the day before. That's what everybody else that's in the no, building. No, but I've been hearing everybody else too. been getting these personal invites on Instagram, DMs, Facebook. But when Dominique decided, to send it out, okay. you can ask everybody in the building. Everybody got the, the invite the same day that right. you got. Okay. It's no tea, it's no shade okay. on your head. Okay. And I can that's apologize I on my like end for that. Everything is going left because... Mm -hmm. I don't want my name just to be bought up in bullshit when I ain't got nothing to do with it. But I feel like I'm gonna be real with you. With me, it has not been bought but, up with bullshit. But yes, it has. Yes, it Dominique. has. Because Can I since the beginning of this okay. year, since the beginning of this mm -hmm. year, people have been hitting me up talking about, oh, what's going on with you and Cameron? Like, what's the tea with you and Cameron? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what's the tea because I haven't talked to Cameron other than get my puppy, my niece, mm -hmm. my my grandbaby mm -hmm. groomed. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna be real, Cam, just to back it on up just a little bit further. I couldn't make it to Rico performance, and it seemed like, as soon as Rico got off the stage, I'm gonna be real, I got Tita, as soon as he got off the stage, you was like, where your real friends at? And it's like, why would you bring me up once again to look like a bad friend for not showing up to this event? When that was the first day I got light-skinned Keisha. If I can groom light-skinned Keisha that dog, I'm gonna cut everything out and take care of light-skinned Keisha. Right. I'm sorry that it's Rico performance, but I'm not gonna make it because I'm taking care of light-skinned Keisha. Somebody that can get my motherfucking resume built as my artist that I'm trying to help promote, I wanna thank you for a good job. Don't say where your real friends at because that make me look like a but bad that, friend. That don't have nothing to do with you. Th but that make me look like a bad friend because I'm the friend on. that Rico is not there for. See, I'm the friend that's not Dominique, there for Rico. Dominique. Now, Miss Cameron, I know you may not know what it's like to work with real celebrities, but they call you last minute sometimes, boo. The fact that you're bringing up my name, to Rico, puts me in all this drama. I'm trying to come into this drama free this year. But it seems like you want to drag me on in. Nobody has an issue with you, Cam. I don't say nobody has an issue nobody, with me. But don't make I an issue with us. If nobody has an no, issue with you, don't make an issue with us. It does not have nothing to do with you. Let's be real. I was being shady in the moment, but my real intentions was towards Troy. Like, I don't really have anything with Dominique. So as a friend, ask me before you blow up. Because if you blow up, I'm going to blow up. And we're just going to keep going back and forth. And it ain't going to never end. But if you're with telling you. Rico, where are your real we friends? We talked about you before I even friends. said that. Because he said you couldn't make it because you had stuff going on. I sure did. So but when, you when I said stage. that, when I said that okay. was because of your other friend, not you. I said, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This bitch work up 400. Oh, this bitch damn near oh. work in Tennessee. That is fine. If he can't make but it, he just can't make it. But don't make it seem like you're a bad friend. You have a problem when we're nobody don't support you. You have a problem when nobody don't support you. Who? You're a good girlfriend. When nobody don't support you. Well, mama been on a hiatus but trying it's, to rebrand. That's the about purpose that. of See, this See, this, you, you don't know the cause. That's I was like, you, that's your friend. So, for, that's my so friend. speak up for your friend. But when it I comes will. to me and we have conversation, you can't speak on that with me. I don't need a friend like that. Okay, well, then I, I, got I, a man I won't that speak on that. it no more. I got a man that take up for me. I got a man that So a friend can't speak up for another friend. They can't defend another friend. But you're defending for your friend. Are you defending for your friend? I defend for you. I you too, Cameron. Okay, so that's what I was doing. Now, I know it was a lot going on in Chicago. And Troy was being a bit of a Mariah Carey diva. But there was no reason, like I said, to bring this back to Atlanta. I don't know if it's a jealousy issue. We hung out the whole time in Chicago. So that's what confuses me even more. Like... I thought we had a good time, but call me delusional because, baby, clearly it's an issue. Okay. What you're doing is stepping okay. in some shit that has nothing to do it, with you. It does. If, if you I'm, text me, it has something to do with Cam, me. Cam, if we did this shit months ago, I don't need you trying to make it an issue okay. years, years right. later. Right. Like, that's, that's I'm about no to go. Point. It's not much up because we can finish talking about the conversation. No, no it's not. But I don't I'm just saying, but you can't. With you and I don't want to make it. You can't make it like a, I'm not being a friend. That's on a that, that is what's that's happening. That's all good, my love. That's so good. I can my dream. I don't want nobody to feel like they have to fight for Dominique. I'm speaking facts.
next time on Chasing Atlanta. Why the fuck Cameron pulled me outside and he has an issue with the fact that you treated me some type of way in Chicago. For him to say it, it's kind of fucking me up. I'm here to make a difference with my music. If I'm going to give my all, I just need to know that you're all in. I'm trying to do like different things with my life and my presentations out here in this room. Okay. So maybe now that we have a stylist in the group, <laughs> when it comes to me, I don't know. Wayne kind of like, I don't know what's the T. We handsome or whatever. We literally, he handsome or whatever, girl. What the fuck that's supposed to mean? Don't sit here and say, oh, well, you weren't there. You can't have an opinion on it. You asked for that opinion. You need 60 seconds.